Hello, my name is John Armstrong and I am a Thrustmaster Racing Ambassador and in this video we're going to be looking at the new Thrustmaster T248 and how to get the best out of it with Dirt 5. Usually one of the most important things to do when you're setting up a wheel with a new game is to set up all the settings to your own preferences and typically we would do this through the, the game menu or the profiler on the desktop but the unique thing with the T248 Thrustmaster is that basically everything can be tuned on the wheel itself. And that's something that is fantastic, something that's really user friendly. And that's what we're gonna do today is just purely tune the wheel to our own liking via the wheel itself. If you do want to go in and tune the settings in the game, it's very easy to do so. Just go into the input settings go to the Thrustmaster Advanced Mode Racer Steering Wheel and then just bump across to Vibration and Feedback. Uh, here we can tune all of the settings that we want to, uh, such as ABS feedback, self-aligned torque, collision, tire slip, everything's there. And of course you've got the advanced settings too for uh, dead zones and stuff like that. But like I said, we're not gonna touch that. Let's set up the wheel via the wheel itself. So probably one of the most important settings is the degrees of rotation. That's something that is pretty much user preference, but my recommendation with Dirt 5 is to use about 360 degrees. Uh, and if we want to adjust that via the wheel, we just go to the mode button. That'll bring us into uh, a menu and we can scroll down to ROT. And here we can use the left or right uh, arrows on the steering wheel to select our degrees of rotation. There is an automatic option, but you've also got the option of 270, 360, 540, 720, and 900. My preference with Dirt 5 is to go 360. It gives me a nice feeling with the, the cars that we drive in here. Uh, nice reactivity from the steering input. It's very precise whenever I use this amount of degrees of rotation. I guess the next thing that we can tune via the steering wheel itself is the force feedback level. Now there are three different settings that we can choose via the wheel itself. Once again, we will access this through the mode button on the bottom left of the wheel. And then we can scroll up or down to force feedback, FFB. And then we're using the left or right buttons once again to choose our preset. Basically, this ramps up the amount of feedback that you have. So force feedback number one is the weakest, but it's also probably where you find little differences and you can be the most consistent. Number two, everything's a bit boosted. Personally, this is the one that I like the most. Feels like the right level of feedback coming through to me through the ground, through the tire slip, and how much resistance there is when I'm counter steering or turning into the turns. That's my preference, I like force feedback number two. Number three, it boosts everything up to the max pretty much. Uh, the ground feel is really, really high, so when you're driving along, there's a lot of um, feedback coming through the ground. That could be your preference, just to try it out, but personally, I like number two, and that's actually the one that I've been using for other games as well. But like I said, if you want to tune it further, you can do that through the game settings or the profiler on the desktop. So now that I've set my wheel up to the settings that we just talked about, it feels really, really nice. There's so much feedback coming through from the ground. Every surface change, I can feel it. Yeah, when I'm going on the brakes and you start to lock up the, the wheels ever so slightly, you can feel that vibration coming through this for this T24 8 wheel and uh, yeah, it feels very intuitive. Each gear change you can feel the clunk coming through the wheel which is really, really nice. Okay, that's, it's not something you would feel through the wheel as much in real life, but of course we have to feel everything through the steering wheel in a game. Uh, you know, we're not getting chucked around in the seat, so Every precise detail has to come through the steering wheel and uh, the T248 is, is mega. I'm, I'm really enjoying playing every every game that I've tried so far with it, and especially with Dirt 5, it's, uh, it's a match made in heaven, to be honest. 
So next we're going to talk about one of the very important features of the Thrustmaster T248 which is the new digital display which to be honest it's something that I've been looking forward to for a long time from one of Thrustmaster's products and it's finally here. Uh, so yeah, let's take a quick look uh, at what we can do with it. Uh, to access the different settings that you can have on your display, you hit the display button on the bottom right. Essentially, we can have two options at once. One of those is always, always gonna be the rev counter, which is very nice to have. And the other is a preference of yours that you can choose. So one of the first options is speed. So that's basically giving us a heads up display of what the speed we currently are doing in game. Uh, then we can go down and choose different ways to have the rev counter to work. So we can have the revs coming from the left to the right. We can have it coming from the right to the left or we can have it coming from both sides and meeting in the middle. Uh, personally, that's that's one I can't really decide on. I like it all, all, all different ways, but uh, usually I'll have it coming from the left to the right. And it's a very nice feature because when you're just focusing on the race, once it hits the ideal shift point, it will start flashing. So you can just catch that out of your eye and it's just a really nice reference point for when you should be up, up shifting in game. Then one of the other options we can have is race progress. So the position that we're in, uh, the lap that we're on. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice option as well. Then you can have information on your current lap. So it's basically counting the time that you're on your current lap, which is a little bit more difficult to spot when you're concentrating on your driving. You have to look down to see that. So it's not one that I use that often. Uh, then you can have your last lap, so it shows your the last lap that you've done, and also your personal best lap as well is another option. And then one that I really like is the gear shift, so it just shows you what gear you're currently in, uh, and that's one that I use the most with the T248. So I'll usually have that or the speed or the rev counter because it can show you the actual revs in numbers as well. So. So yeah, that's uh, all the options and basically you can try all, all the different display options that, that we have with this wheel and uh, pick one that suits you. But my preference, like I said, is the gear shift or the, uh, the actual rev counter. And the final thing that we can tune with this setup with the T248 is the pedal set that comes with it. And basically there are four different configurations that we can pick and you can try all of them i've tried two or three basically what i've done is replace the silver spring with the black spring which is much stiffer and gives better resistance on braking force so like especially when i'm coming up to heavy braking zones it just gives me the right resistance on the pedal that i'm looking for and that allows me to be a lot more precise with my braking points and i can break deeper into the corners so that's that's essentially the one that I prefer, but like I said, try all four different options, see which suits you, and uh, make a choice from there. So I hope you find this video useful for setting up your T248 Thrustmaster wheel with Dirt 5. But for now, I'm going to go back and have some fun, and I'll see you soon.